As the title of this video suggests, this tutorial is for those of you just getting started with Obsidian. And if you've chosen to work with Obsidian, you've done it for one primary reason, which is to make connections between ideas in your notes by the way of links. This of course in hopes of triggering and generating new ideas. So let's create our first notes with this linking in mind. I'm going to hit Ctrl N to start a new page. I'm interested in the idea of decision making. I want to be better and more efficient at it. So let's name this note decision making. Now the first thing that I want to do is jot down an interesting claim that I found while browsing the internet. And that is that an average person makes around 35,000 decisions a day. This was mentioned in an article by a lecturer at the University of Leicester in England. So I'm going to double bracket her name. When you put a double bracket around the word or a phrase, or in this case, a name, Obsidian creates a link to a note page with that title. But since I don't yet have a note page with her name, this link isn't pointing to anything. However, if I click on this link, then it will create a note page for it. Now, I can include a little note about who she is. And in the future, if I come across other works by her and make notes on it, I can link back to this page. For example, let's say it's three months later and I'm making a note about persuasion and I come across an article about the persuasive power of knowledge. And guess what? One of the authors for this article is Eva Krokow. So now when I start typing her name in double brackets, her note page appears. I just have to hit enter and the link is established. Let's click on the link to go to her note page. If you expand the side panel here and make sure you have it selected on linked mentions, you see that there are two backlinks. This indicates that these two notes, the decision making note and the persuasion note, both mention Eva Krokow in them. And of course, if you select one of these, it will take you to that note page. Let me share another example. Let's stay on this page for decision making here and continue making additional notes on it. If you do 35,000 times of anything, that's going to cause you to get tired. There's a term for this and it's called decision fatigue. Now, I think this is a term that I want to save in case other future topics that I explore tie back to it. So I'm going to double bracket it. And as I type the word, the suggestions come up and it turns out that I made a note page on this already. So I can just select and hit enter. This is what I like about Obsidian. It really helps us to make connections to ideas that were previously captured so that we can build on them. So now let's take a look at what these relationships look like in a graph view. So if you go over to the left pane here, click on this icon for open graph view, you can now start to see the relationship between the different notes. You can click on any node to reposition them so that it's a little easier to see. And for me, I'm seeing a pattern emerge, right? So decision making seems to be sort of where the other notes are gravitating towards. And as you hover your cursor over the different note, you can see the direct relationships appear. And where you have a note that's sort of grayed out here, like for example, this one that says knowledge, this is where we have the word knowledge double bracketed, but the actual note hasn't been created yet. So I think this is really awesome that you can see visually the relationship between the different notes. And this is really going to help you build on your existing notes and your ideas. So I want to share a final tip when linking specific words, terms, or phrases. You may run into situations where the terms you want to link to exist, but not in the correct grammatical form. For example, you see here in this sentence, reserve your energy for more important decisions. Okay, but I want it to link back to the note decision making. But if I do that, the sentence, while I guess it still reads okay, wouldn't feel right to me. For example, reserve your energy for more important decision making. So what I did here was if I put the cursor over this link, you see that it is linking back to decision making, but I put a pipe symbol in between, right? So what follows the pipe will be the display text that I want. Okay, and I can replace this with any word or phrase, and that's what will be displayed in the sentence, but it will link back to the decision-making note. 
Since I find myself using this a lot, I wanted to share this with you. And that's it for our first set of notes. So as you can see, using brackets to create links between notes is pretty useful. And at this point, you might be excited and tempted to create backlinks for everything. But if you're just starting out, I suggest you take it slow and create backlinks only for those biggest ideas that matter. You can always establish links between existing notes in the future. With that said, thanks for sticking around till the end. I have more Obsidian tutorials coming up in the near future, so please hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out. Thanks and see you in the next video. <music>